Hello guys. Today's uh, chemistry experiment is about distillation of diglime. It's a relatively high boiling point solvent and uh, therefore if you want to distill this solvent and get rid of any impurity or water, you have to perform distillation under high vacuum. Here's the structure of diglime on top and the boiling point is at 162 degrees of Celsius. So here's my distillation setup. Uh, in a 1 liter RBF uh, round bottom flask, uh, I had uh, calcium hydride and diglime. I reflux this mixture for about one and a half hour. After this time, the reaction mixture turned to light brown, and then I set up my distillation. Here's the condenser, here's the thermometer, here's my collection uh, flask and here's the tubing to the vacuum so I have two valves and uh, this primary valve uh, is controlling the vacuum pressure because I'm getting the vacuum uh, with a Schlenk line uh, vacuum pump uh, it's relatively high for this distillation therefore I had to de decrease the vacuum pressure uh, it's about minus 45 inch of mercury which is high. If you if you use directly this high vacuum, everything bumps from this flask to your collection flask. So you have to decrease it. Um, so I had this primary valve uh, here. Uh, it helps me to uh, decrease the vacuum pressure. That little knob uh, uh, you can increase or decrease the vacuum. And here's the secondary uh, vacuum. Uh, it helps you to shut down the vacuum in emergency cases let's say if it boils crazy if you go very high temperature or the vacuum goes very high you can close this valve and then after a couple seconds the system will color beard and then the crazy bubbles uh, settle down so here's the gauge uh, right now showing at minus 28 inch of mercury and uh, so the, the vapor temperature is 50 uh, degree of celsius so here's again the entire setup, the collection, I collected some diglime so far and uh, <clears throat> so since I have a, I have a double manifold Schlenk line so I can refill entire system uh, with nitrogen after the distillation done. So let's say this flask gets full and I want to um, take it off, I have to uh, refill the system with nitrogen by switching this uh, valve here. So after this, I take the uh, collected uh, solvent and I combine them uh, with uh, other solvents which are already uh, uh, collected and I uh, keep them under uh, nitrogen. Uh, having uh, some molecular sieves uh, helps me to keep the solvent dry. And uh, if you guys um, have any question or any comments, I would happy to help you and, and answer your question and hope uh, that this video was helpful for you guys. Have a great day.